Hi, Mr. Last. My name is Lauren Hughes, and I'm the Andrew W. Mellon Curator here at the American Antiquarian Society, and I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your support of the Society. I am currently standing in the D-Stack, which is where we store all of the graphic material at the Society, including the prints, the drawings, the ephemera, and the broadsides. This stack, I come in and out multiple times a day, and every time I do, I say, thank you, Mr. Last, because the, the existence of this space has enabled us to expand our collection and to continue to preserve it in a way that is fitting to the society. I also want to say thank you for your continued support of acquisitions here at AAS. Because of your support, we have been able to acquire beautiful things, including things, prints like this beautiful color print of Lafayette. This print, along with this view of San Francisco, which was published in France but sold in New York. A genre scene by Felix Darley of Winter. And this iconic view after Mount called The Power of Music. All four of those prints, along with several others, are heading to France this fall to be included in an exhibition and public program there at the Musée du Peel. I will continue to send you my quarterly acquisition reports, and I hope you enjoy reading them. I look forward to meeting you in person, because I'd love to thank you in person. Thank you so much, Mr. Last, for your continued support. Hi, Jay. I'm Nan Wolverton, and I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done for Chavik and our last fellowships. Uh, we just reviewed over 50 applications for, from scholars from all over the country wanting to come here to do work with our collections. Uh, we were able to narrow it down to a, a small group that will make use of collections that without your support would not have seen the light of day. Um, so we look forward to working with those fellows. Um, I look forward to sending you reports um, that they submit back to us after they complete their work. It's always gratifying to see how much they enjoy their time here at AAS, and I really uh, look forward to sharing that with you. In fact, I have a report to send you from the last group um, that was here, um, so that will come very soon. Um, I also want to thank you for the, the uh, use of your funds to support a graduate student, a stipend for a graduate student who worked on an exhibition that we just opened at Smith College, um, and without your support, um, that uh, her, her work on that exhibition um, would not have been uh, supported. So thank you so much. And again, thank you for everything that you do for us. Um, you really help to make JVIC what it is. So I, I thank you greatly. And I uh, hope that in the near future we can meet. I would really love to, to meet you and to thank you um, for, again, for, for all that you do. Hi, Jay. It's nice to be talking to you, if not sitting in your lovely living room and looking at books and prints and talking about your wonderful collection. I just want to say how delighted I am that you're receiving the Christopher Columbus Baldwin Award. It's a great honor and can just barely reflect all that you've done to make the Graphic Arts Department such an exciting place to be these days. Beginning with the support of the acquisitions funding that you gave us, my job took off into wonderful different directions. It enabled me to frame exhibitions from the beginning and to carry them out really well, like with a French accent, which so reflects your generosity to AAS. Your support of the building project just was a great shot in the arm to our President Ellen Dunlap, who's with you, and to all of us on the staff. It was a great mark of approval of what our goals were and our aims, and finally allowed me to sh have material shelved in a rational way and to have conservation problems attended to, and the result has just been fabulous for us. And finally, your support of the graphic arts um, Visual Culture Fellowships has enabled a whole new generation of scholars to really delve into our pictorial materials. I know you're reading their reports, I know you enjoy reading them, but I, I just can't tell you what, what a difference it's going to make in the academy to have these young people, and for the most part they are young, a few senior scholars get mixed in, but for the most part they're young scholars. and what they learn and what they see here is going to impact their teaching for 
the next 40 years, and it's going to impact how their students relate to visual materials. And so your support of the fellowships has been fabulous. It's the really the skeleton part of the Center for Historic American Visual Culture. And it, these last 10 or 15 years have just been so wonderful, and it's largely thanks to you. So thank you, Jay. I hope you and Debbie are doing well, and I hope to see you when I get to the West Coast the next time. Bye-bye. Jay, you know, the past year has been our bicentennial celebration, and the whole history of the Antiquarian Society is now completely documented in this book. And uh, in looking through it, I'm reminded of all of the individuals who have given generously to make this institution what it is. But throughout this whole history, I can't think of one person whose gifts have made more difference than yours have made not only in helping us acquire materials, but also making them available and storing them properly with your great gift to Stack D, but also helping us create this wonderful Chavik program to really bring the graphic arts collections into their full use and meaning. Uh, I just can't think of anyone who's done more. I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>